So when it comes to buying cryptocurrencies, sometimes you feel like, do I really know what I'm doing or should I invest in this coin because other people keep telling me to? Well, this is by no means financial advice, but the seven cryptos I'm going to go over are the ones I plan on retiring with in the future. I'm also going to show you a small account balance with one of those coins on this list. Of course, as I'm getting into this, if you guys want to get on our crypto newsletter where we send out one email a week or check out some great crypto resources, we'll have some links in the description. Okay, so first up, I'm going to start things off with the Crypto.com coin, Kronos, aka CRO, whatever you want to call it. But the reason I love this coin, especially for the long term, is because it's an exchange coin. You know, last year, also Crypto.com bought the naming rights to the Lakers Staples Center in a $700 million deal. So these guys have money. Um, but, you know, Crypto.com is still one of the fastest growing crypto exchanges in the world. And I always compare this coin to the Binance coin. If you look at what, you know, that coin did, I think, you know, uh, Kronos is going to do the same thing. Uh, you know, right now the price on it is well under a dollar. In my opinion, this coin is, it's got the possibilities to go to over a hundred billion in market cap in the future. And honestly, yeah, I think you really can't go wrong with this one. Okay, next up, Engine Coin. Now, uh, Engine is awesome for a few different reasons. The first being it's super undervalued right now, and that's what you want to look for, are those crypto gems that are undervalued. <clears throat> but, you know, it's a gaming coin, or it started as a gaming coin. It's now in like the NFT metaverse space. It's been around since 2009. You know, I've accumulated close to 30,000 coins of Engine, you know, which I'm proud of, but I am down on my position because my average is like really, I think it's like $2.08 I've got it down to. So I'm, you know, constantly buying and averaging into Engine. Uh, you know, I think this coin is a 10 billion plus market cap cryptocurrency going into the future, uh, and it could go higher than that. But, you know, just looking at where it's at right now, we're not even near that. So the return on this coin could be really good. They've got strong partnerships, and uh, I only see big things coming for Engine. And like I said, it's one of those crypto gems that's just super undervalued right now, and it's one you want to get in on. Okay, the next one is going to be a large cap crypto that's been in the top 10 for many, many years, but still has yet to break its old all-time highs, XRP. You know, so XRP, you know, either you love it or hate it, you know, being part of the XRP army. Um, you know, I've owned this coin for quite some time. I've been able to accumulate over 200k coins of XRP over the years. Definitely proud of that, but I started with I think I put 2000 bucks into XRP many years ago, and I've just kind of like, you know, just grown it ever since. You know, I've been just buying it. Um, anyways, I also wanted to show you guys I do own a, a small chunk on Uphold. Uh, the rest I've got, you know, spread across some different wallets and uh, one other exchange. But um, yeah, you know, I, I've managed to buy <clears throat> around 30,000 extra coins here on Uphold. It's been hard to buy XRP, especially in the, the United States. It's like one of the only places to get it right now. Uh, there are a few others. I just trust Uphold. That's why I've, you know, I kept this amount on here. But, you know, XRP going into the future, anything can happen with this coin. It is undervalued because, you know, it's been held down by the SEC case. That's going to wrap up eventually. And then when that does, you know, I'm, I'm thinking uh, way past the old all-time highs. Honestly, I think 10, bucks is, 10 to 12 bucks is realistic for XRP, which would be a great return on its current price. Okay, next up, we've got Ethereum. You know, I had to throw Ether up here because, you know, it is one of those somewhat boring, you know, coins to get into. It's not like you're going to get these crazy returns, but it's safe. And, you know, we are looking at coins that you just want to hold on to and watch grow. And I think you're going to get that with Ethereum. So, you know, it would make sense to buy some Ether. Okay, next up, we've got Decentraland. Uh, I love this coin as far as like a metaverse. Um, you know, the possibilities with this one are huge. Uh, Decentraland is partnered with Atari. They're doing some things like selling virtual real estate, virtual goods. They're getting into the online casino space. I mean, yeah, I, I think that uh, Decentraland could be a 50 billion plus market cap crypto in the future. It's positioned itself in a way that I expect big, big things. And I imagine the partnerships with other people and companies is going to continue growing with Decentraland in the future. So, you know, right now the price on it makes a lot of sense. Market cap still super low. So I would definitely, 
you know, gobble that one up. Okay, next up, we've got the basic attention token. Now, I've been a fan of the bat token for many years. It's been around since 2017. It's an Ethereum-based coin. You know, I've bought and sold this coin quite a bit, but I've just come to the realization I'm just going to, you know, continue averaging into it and just kind of stacking it. Basically, what the bat token is trying to do is disrupt, you know, uh, Google. It runs off of Google Chrome. It's a privacy browser. It pays out uh, in the bat token, so you get paid for your attention. The whole concept is really cool. You know, personally, I do use the Brave browser. I really like it. It just blocks ads for you. It's super fast. I think it's actually faster than uh, Google Chrome, even though it runs off of Chromium. Um, and they've been growing their user base for many years consecutively. So I don't know, guys. I really like it. It is. Uh, it is undervalued where it's at. I mean, you can get it under a dollar right now. And I think, you know, a five to 10 billion plus market cap on this coin in the future is realistic. So you could get a good return on it. And more than that, uh, they just they just have a strong foundation. So I would look at it. Okay, last up, I've got Polkadot on this list. Now, Polkadot is very similar to Ethereum because it's a software-based crypto. The thing about Polkadot, though, it's an alternative to Ethereum. It's still got more room to grow. And I think the multiple you could get on it is pretty good. You know, in the coming years, it's not going to be like super crazy, or at least I don't think so, because it's a large cap. But at the same time, I really like DOT. Uh, and, you know, I just think they're going to continue growing the ecosystem of it. Okay, so to recap on these coins for everybody, you know, we've got Kronos, like I said. Um, the Crypto.com coin, it's an exchange coin. I think that you can get a great return on it. It's very undervalued and, you know, Crypto.com is just going to keep growing. And then you've got Engine Coin. It's one of those very undervalued gems in the gaming metaverse space that if you get in on right now, I mean, you could get 20x plus returns in the future easily. Then you've got XRP. You know, it's a large cap crypto. It's been around for many years. So it has staying power. You know, I own a ton of it, like I said, anything under a dollar on it's really good. Then you've got Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum, like I said, it's a bit boring, but it's safe. And you also want to get into coins, you know, are going to be around here in the future. And I think we all know Ether's not going anywhere. Then you've got Decentraland. Absolutely love this coin. I think big things are coming for it. It's positioned itself in a way that I just see a lot of growth. And I think it's just going to continue growing. You got to remember virtual real estate is being bought and sold. Uh, it's crazy stuff. Then you got the bat token, an, another great one to uh, get involved with right now at its current price. Um, strong foundation, strong user base. It's connected with the Brave browser. Check that out. And last up, Polkadot, guys. It's just an alternative software to Ethereum. It's another large cap crypto. Um, if you have any questions about any of these guys, you know, feel free to message me below in the comments. Like I said, not financial advice, but if you're looking for some coins to retire on someday, these are the ones that I own and I'm just hodling. You know, I'm hodling to 2030 plus here. All right, thanks for watching this one, guys. And we will see you all in the next crypto video.